Welcome back to the channel, fellow Wall Street engineers. In this video, we will be discussing two companies of interest that Nano Dimension can possibly acquire in the next coming months. They've hinted an acquisition in the making during their Q3 earnings call, and with over $150 million brought into the company via direct offerings so far, they've set themselves up for not only money to put towards advancing their own tech through research and development, but the potential to grow the business and speed up their tech advancements through acquiring a company with similar interests in mind. Nano gave no hints as to which companies they're looking at, but based off how much money they've set aside, we have an idea of what they can afford and what is already out there in the market. Of course, with a little over $200 million brought in once all direct offerings have been completed, they aren't planning on buying a company worth $150 plus million. We're looking at options under that $100 million mark to leave finances available for the future of the company. First on the list is Voxeljet. This company began in 1995 with four people and today has over 300 employees and is the leading provider of high speed, large format 3D printers and on demand 3D printed parts to industrial and commercial customers. They've installed over 187 3D printers across the globe. They print over 100,000 3D parts per year and contain one of the largest 3D production centers in all of Europe. Buying this company would not only beef up Nano's current reach with the automotive and industrial space, but it would remove a piece of the competition. Voxeljet has over 420 patents and patent applications that could actually come in handy considering majority of those patents are in relations to their 3D printer. They've got long-term relationships with global industry leaders like BMW, Ford, and Nike, just to name a few. Nano Dimension has been focusing on what we would call a niche within a niche. 3D printing companies are considered a niche sector, for the time being, of course. Nano is a 3D printing company that focuses on 2D electronic chips, hence niche within a niche. Bringing in Voxeljet will not only expand their scope in the 3D printing space, but bring in potentially a new batch of engineers who have been working in the industry for a long time, who can bring in further advancements of technology they're currently working on, like the Dragonfly LDM. And with a market cap of $54 million, Nano Dimension could swallow them up while leaving over $100 million available for the future of the company. And with Voxeljet already bringing in revenue of their own with their current 3D printers, it will raise the company's overall revenue in quarters to come. Next on the list is Organovo. They are an early stage medical laboratory and research company which designs and develops functional three-dimensional human tissue for medical research and therapeutical applications. They are pioneering 3D printed human tissue for drug discovery, with Nano Dimension themselves already having a small part in the medical 3D printing space. Taking on this company will fast forward 13 years of research and development and put Nano Dimension's name up there in that sector. Currently, Nano Dimension's 3D printer in medical aspects is only capable of building basic medical devices to producing functional preclinical parts. While Organovo's bioprinter technology has been used to create spectrum of tissues, healthy liver, Nash liver, kidney, intestine, skin, vascular, bone, skeletal muscle, eye, breast, and pancreatic tumors, Organovo is sitting at a market cap of only $60 million, and I believe with them having issues staying within the NASDAQ minimum bid price requirement, Nano may be able to buy them out at a lower cost. Now, which do I think would benefit the company most? Voxeljet brings more to the table, in my opinion, and comes along with a better balance sheet. But overall, if Nano can find a company out there that will help them continue to focus on their current niche, which is 2D and hopefully soon to be 3D chips, along with upgrading their tech from only prototypes to potentially mass production, that would benefit the company most in the long run because why be good in multiple things when you can be great in one thing? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are there any companies you have in mind that could be a potential suitor? There are plenty of great companies out there, but the goal was to see who was available at a price range that made sense and brought value to the table. All right, that is it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. But until next time, I will catch you all in the next one.